he is picking up MVP buzz. AD told FoxSports.com that the hype hasn't gotten to him, and he knows he is, quote, capable of. Shannon, what do you think? Can AD keep this up? Uh, yeah, look, I don't expect him to keep putting up. There have been very few bigs that can put up 35 and 15. Wilt Chamberlain and a young Kareem Abdul-Jabbar put up numbers like that, Skip. But he's playing like he played when everybody saw him in, on the Pelican with New Orleans, but there was nothing to really play for. Now he's on a big stage with the Lakers, and he's putting up these dominating numbers. Yep. Anthony Davis is a mismatch every single night for yep. anybody that charges to guard him because of his skill set. He can put the ball on the floor and dunk you in the basket. Mm-hmm. He can shoot the mid-range. He can. Skip, he have, he, now he's making about 80, 82% of his free throws. Yep. He can shoot the three, but he hasn't fallen in love. He's got away from the three. He's got away from shooting the fadeaway so much. That's and so true. now his game is you seeing the complete evolution of always dominant. Yep. We call him Anthony Davis, mm-hmm. but everybody knows him as always dominant. Mm. And what he did, I think the confidence that he got by going to Milwaukee on a Friday night and doing what he did to Giannis, he's like, if I can go get 44 and 15 against Giannis, I should be able to get 30 and 13 against anybody else in the league because I believe Giannis is the best player in the NBA. He's the best two-way player in the NBA. Yep. And AD gave him work. We know AD always had this ability, Skip. We're going to say, when is AD's effort going to match the ability that we see? Because we've seen him. I watched him in 2016 against Detroit go get 59 and 20. He did that against Andre Drummond. Now, Andre Drummond, but we know Andre Drummond is a rebounding machine. We've seen him go get 40 and 15. We've yep. seen him go get 42 and 18. We've seen Anthony Davis do this. We like, well, damn, AD, we know what you can do. Yep. Why the hell you give us 12 and 5? Good, good question. You should give us 12 and 5 a quarter. Mm. And now he's playing, Skip. The effort is there. And I know Skip people are like, well, he's healthy. Hell, he was healthy his, his fresh year in LA. He ain't give you these type of numbers. No. When he's engaged, when he says, you know what? I'm the best player on the floor. And that's what he needs. That's the mindset. That's what the greats do. It don't matter who's on the other side. I'm the best, best mofo on this field today. I'm the best mofo on the court. Mm. And y'all can't do nothing about it. That's the approach he's taking. Every game he goes out there, he says, I'm the best. Even with LeBron James, the guy that's about to become the all-time leading scorer, I'm the best player. Skip, Ooh, you see this? Last 10 games, 34 on 64, 63% shooting of 15 rebounds. Mm. We on our way. On your way. We put the, guess what we about to do? After we come out this road trip and do what we do to Boston next, when I come here next month, next Wednesday, mm-hmm. NBA on notice. Really? NBA on notice. This is stick up. Give it a title. Mm. We gonna get that Louis case. You know, they put that, the, they put that Larry O'Brien award in a Louis case. Mm. We about to get us another Louis case. We really? like matching, matching luggage. Really? Mm-hmm. We got the first one too. Wasn't it just two weeks ago that you told me the Lakers were done? It's over. It's out. We're stuck with Westbrook, and we can't shoot, and AD don't cannot be trusted? We can't. We don't need to shoot. Uh. Russ, Russ has embraced his role. He says, you know what, guys? Let me have this. I'm going to be the sixth man of the year. I'm going to be the best sixth man in the NBA. Now he's coming out of this dropping down. 15. Give you 15. Give us 12 a night. Coming out the bench. Giving us double-digit assists. Anthony Davis says, it's my... I'm mm. the captain now. And mm. LeBron says, you know what? I still going to give y'all 29, 30 on a nightly basis. Mm. AD handle all the heavy lifting. Mm. Let me do this easy stuff. You don't notice. Huh. I'll give you this. AD is turned back into a PER prince because he is now second to Luka in player efficiency rating. And he is a notch <laughs> ahead of Jokic and Giannis and Embiid. That's pretty great. Mm-hmm. But you call him always Dominating is always it? dominant. Dominant. Okay. I'm going to have to change that nickname to always disappointing <laughs> because that's what he is. He is low motor and he is lower durability. Am what, I right? What have you seen thus far? He's been on a weird tear that I cannot quite explain, except I know he's capable because he's done this before. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I read all these quotes from him. He says, this doesn't surprise me. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Then, then why don't you always do it? Yeah, we definitely do. Not capable. Not capable. Yeah, he not is capable. built that way. He built this way. No, he is not built this way. He, he, he says, I, I'm so excited about how we're playing now. This is what I'm supposed to do. That's the feeling I have. I have high expectations for myself. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? 
high expectations. You you realize over the last two years he's missed seventy six games. I know guy, I know two guys that missed more in the same play in the same building. Mm. Done miss a hundred games, Man. but Skip, it's not easy. Now, you have to understand now who he's playing alongside. Mm. You're talking about the greatest player of all time. It's not easy to take the, take the torch from him. At some point you, in time. You said two years ago he was supposed to take the he torch. He was. Mm. But you know what? AD said, man, I, I, how, can, I, how can I do this? Mm. But sometimes you just got to run. Hey, let me get that, bro. Mm. So I'm going to remind you. It was just one week ago. We, we were unfortunately not on the next day because we were preempted by the World Cup. Yeah. But it was just a week ago that they played Indiana at yeah. home. And Indiana's yeah. pretty good because they had a yes. big win last yes. night against Golden State. Oh, you saw that, huh? I did see okay that. Okay, And Nimhard, who was guarding LeBron in the fourth quarter of said game at the Crypt, Nimhard had another big game last night because he beat you at the last second shot. Yeah. You remember this? Yeah, he Okay, and he got thirty or something on Golden and, State, and, and he was single covering LeBron for the whole fourth quarter, and he's like six three, and LeBron six nine, and LeBron couldn't do anything. In fact, he shot two for eight in the fourth quarter of that game. But more important, the guy who got the torch pass to him, A D P E R Prince. I'm looking at what happened in the fourth quarter against Indiana just a week and a day ago. Yeah. A week and a day ago. Wait, are these numbers right? Am I seeing things? Yes. Wait. He, he made one field goal and one out of two free throws I that for, away. for a grand total of three points. I, and guess how many rebounds he had in the fourth quarter as they blew a 17-point lead? He had zero I rebounds. Don't put, I don't put that on I don't put that zero on AD. Rebounds? I put that on LeBron. I put okay. that on Russ. I put that on his teammates. Give him the damn ball. Mm. You saw what he had done up until that point. Whew. Now, all of a sudden, y'all want to abandon him? Mm. And you see now, come fourth quarter in all these games – Who's getting the ball first? Mm. Anthony Davis. That's how it should be. They got away from what was working, and if they paid the ultimate well, price I, I with thought, L. I thought LeBron was supposed to be the closer. No? Skip, when this guy's on a streak like this, you keep him, just keep him going. Keep him, LeBron, look, we saw what LeBron did Friday night against Milwaukee. They needed him. Hit two big threes. He, he drove the threes. ball. He was playing great. But Anthony Davis was still engaged. They were still giving the ball to AD, and AD was still putting that work in on Lopez and, and Giannis. Giannis got so fed up with say, hey, Brooke, you take that. I don't want to get all these 44. I don't need you to get, like, 25 of these things. I don't, he done gave me enough of this work. But LeBron played well. But in that situation against Indy, LeBron and his teammates should have made sure Anthony Davis had at least 10 touches. Mm. No, no, not no touches. Damn them touches. 10 shot attempts. Mm. Well, he they did. learned it. They learned their lesson. Did they? Lesson learned. By the way, I, at Milwaukee, I want to see LeBron say, give me the damn ball and let me go shoot the free throws to win this game. Either and he didn't me, want it. He said, give me the damn ball and let me shoot these threes on yeah, him. Well, that was with three minutes left. But down the so stretch, he, he is running from the free throw line. But, running. Hold on. But I remember you said last year there were a bunch of games. you like, LeBron James, bring us home. Home, James, home. Okay, he did that. Now don't come I, up with he, don't come he, up with another talk about he want to shoot free throws. No, we want to get home. He didn't bring you home, but AD did. Hey. And AD finally stepped up and made the one free throw that you needed to ice it. You I don't care, I don't care how we got home. I don't care if we hitchhike. I don't care yeah. if we caught Greyhound. Did we get the Did we get it home against Milwaukee? You were inspired to win that game for your new head coach, who they I think they love him, and he spent a lot of time in Milwaukee as a player and assistant coach, won a championship as an assistant coach, and they said, we're going to get this one for you. Well, well guess what? They inspired to have Frankie V. He was a coach at Orlando. They yep. been coaching Indiana, and they still lost. Don't give me no inspired. At the end of the day, you can play inspired all you want to. You still got to go out there and suit up and make, and make plays and win the game. Mm. We won. Stop trying to find excuses mm. to how you played inspired. We're better. Mm. You're now 10 and 12. You like that? I guarantee you, after we come out this road trip, we'll have a better record and we won't be five. We'll be better than 500. Uh, Put something on that. 10 and 12? That's, hold on. You make it seem like, hold on. How many teams How many teams are like uh, uh, 20 and 2? Uh, are there any 20 and 2 teams no. out there? Raise your hand if you're 20 and 2. Uh, are we out of it? Huh. Would, would you believe that the 10 wins include three over San Antonio that's 6 and 18? And guess what? We're going to get another three? one over them, too, because we got to play them four times. We're going to get another kidding? one over them. And you got one at home over New Orleans because somebody named Matt Ryan fell out of bounds and made a three over the top of the backboard and to we gonna tie get, the score. And we're going to get three more over them, And, and Matt Ryan is like, I don't know, whatever happened they to waved him. him. He's gone. Yeah, we waved him. We got to open up a roster spot. I, I'm just saying, he's, he's not even on your team, and he saved the, your bacon in that game. He Man. made the three to send it to overtime. We appreciate that. We cut huh. him a check.
Yeah, you, you beat the Nets at home without Kyrie or Ben Simmons. Oh, whoa, 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 Was the best player? Was the best player in the NBA there? Yeah, by and, the way. And, and cut him and cut him and cut his tail. And you know what? He's putting up MVP numbers again. Kevin Durant, you beat the Pistons at home. You impressed with that? We got them on you, Sunday. You, you beat Portland at home with no Dame. You impressed with that? Got some for them too. Mm, okay. Got some for Yoke. Got yeah. some for got some for got some for Joel Embiid on yeah. Wednesday. Really? We're gonna get that thing to see y'all. See y'all, oh, Hold on. Who we play tonight? Oh no, we got the Cavaliers tonight. You got the Cavaliers, and then you got back to back at Toronto. Yeah, yeah, we got some for Siakam and uh, Scotty Barnes. Yeah, okay. we owe them. Really? Oh, we did. Remember, we did them well, last well, year with Russ. What, what are you predicting? They're going to win every game. <laughs> hey, don't they, uh -huh. hey, we could possibly. They're going to win out. We could possibly be what? Uh, what that be? Eighty-two. We might be seventy and twelve. Really? That might be a possibility. We might win. Might go on a winning streak. We're like fifty straight. Huh? I'll bet you 70 <laughs> cases you don't go 70 and 12. Would you like to do 70 cases? No, but that? I remember talking to you last week. I said we might go possibly 4 and 2, 5 and 1 on this road trip. Yeah. I'm thinking 5 and 1. Now I'm feeling good. I'm smelling myself from over here. Mm. In my time of doing debate shows that dates <laughs> way back to 2004, I have never seen anybody flip the switch on a team off and on the way you do on these Lakers because you flipped it completely off. Hold on. I'm just going by like you tell me. I'm just going by what I see. Really? Just how you flipped it last night to Tom Brady when you said it was pathetic and they didn't have a pulse. Okay. You flipped it. Did I, did I flip it off on Brady the whole year? I picked him to win the Super Bowl, and I've not backed off. We even re-picked uh, two weeks ago. We re-picked, and I yeah. said, I'm sticking with Brady. I'm still sticking with Brady. So I haven't flipped the switch off. I feel real good Do about you? the Lego right now. Yeah. AD. Are, are you predicting championship? I feel good. Do you? I'm not, hey, I'm not saying I haven't quite requested that day off that Tuesday in June yet. Really? But it might be. <laughs> really? I might be on the – hold up. What do you – where we go to Hollywood, uh, Hollywood Boulevard? Yeah. I mean, I just want to downtown. I mean, where we? Well, it's downtown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have to request that off. Really? Yeah, yeah. I might have to get me a hotel downtown well, so the, I can be there. You'd be the parade master. Yeah, right? I might have to you'd go be ahead. in the lead vehicle. You, now that you mentioned, I might go ahead and book me a hotel room for a Tuesday in June. Really? Look at it right now and see what I can go. So ahead. Shannon Sharp is now predicting yeah, that, that the team that he wrote off is going to come back and win the championship. We just might do that. Really? Go ahead and give an early and, start. Give me one instead of being stuck with Russ. You're now blessed to have Russ. We ain't trading. Right. No trade. I wish I wish huh. Gene and Buss or Rob would try to trade Russ. Really? I, I, but me and 500 people going to be down there boycott. Huh. Hell no, Russ don't go. Hell no, Russ don't go. Really? Yep. Well, then your GM should be the GM of the year. Because everybody's it. saying, you got to get rid of him. You got to give up those picks, right? We ain't giving up nothing. Nothing. We ain't giving up nothing. Interesting. Wow. Okay. We I, got everything we need. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but you know and I know what's going to happen to Anthony Davis. I'm not going to knock I'm not, on I'm not, no, no, no. I'm not going to let you put that out there. Okay. We're I, not.